Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. It's Thursday. Let me check, make sure I got audio. As you know. Every time, yeah, we got it. Every time I don't check it, it's not working. So. Uh, I don't know what Kelly's doing. He's over there hiding in the bush. You'll have to excuse him. He's boy's kind of weird. <laughs> He's kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. It's hard to soar like an eagle when you mess with a bunch of turkeys, y'all. <clears throat> Let me call a few folks out. Chris Everett, good to see you, my friend. There's Billy, downtown Ernie Brown. And there's Kelly Bullock, of course. And he's in here, and I guess he decided he's going to get in the chat, too. So, that's six folks who's chatted, and we're ready to go. Uh, we're going to try to catch some catfish today. And I got to tell you, I ain't very good at this, because I hadn't done it a whole lot. But I got to do it, because the VFL starts in a day or two yep. on the 11th. I just hope that doggone wheel after week one does not pick catfish. Because I'm going to have to scramble and find some. We're going to try it today for a while. I'm more of a lure fisherman. And uh, on the game. I showed you up the other day. I showed you up the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well. Let's see how that all turned out there. Lead time. But uh, I'm more of a lure fisherman in real life. And on these games, stay true. I got a little few lures. There's Channel Cat and uh, Green Sunfish and a few other species in here. So we're going to try our hand at it today. See what we got. I'm going to start out with a, some cheese for bait. We'll go with minnow. I've got a couple of rods rigged up. So we're going to try some float fishing and some bottom fishing. And see what we can do. Now these catfish typically bite better at night in this game. They're more of a night owl. Uh, well, we're going to try this. It is noon right now mm -hmm. in the game. <clears throat> it's doable. But they do bite better at night. But I got a few lures. Things get slow, I'll make a few cast around. I've got blue spots. Yeah, spots and I've got Kelly up on the right and me up on the left on your screen. Name tags are up there so you know who's who. And I got a split screen going so y'all can see both action from both sides. Oh, I'm getting a bite. And I got a fish. Nice. Fish on. Yep. Yeah. That'll work. Come on yep. in here. Yep. I got a pretty big setup here, so should take long to pull this fish in. He probably didn't weigh all that much. Let's see what we got. He's five pounds. Not bad. Five and a half pounds. Yes. He all right. That's a good fish. That's a daytime channel cat. Mm-hmm. I'll see how they bite. Start catching a bunch of little ones like that. I may increase my hook size. What's your... Let me put a little bit piece, bigger piece of cheese on. See if we can't wrangle up a bigger one. Yeah. Leeches for the win, Buck Williams says. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm on again. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna see if I can switch that. Dave, good to see you, Dave. Oh. 
A seven pounder. They're getting bigger. Yep, getting bigger, getting bigger. I went in and switched over to leech and see how that does. And see if the bucket is right. Mm -hmm. Or if he's full of it. Well, it is one of the preferred baits. Yeah. But. But that's during the night time. Uh -uh. I'm not going to leave biting fish to change baits right now. Yeah. Oh, no, I would not with what you're already catching. No. I already caught two, so. Yeah. I would switch. Let's just try this a while and see what happens. Like, play around for a bigger one later. Now, the difference between both of ours is... Uh, you, got, you got you got your setup to where your toggle uh, focus is on the end of your rod, right? That's the way your your rod is set up. You uh, you can push because uh, mine mine toggle focus goes all the way down to the bottom, and I know some rods. You well, I'm bottom fishing. Your, I'm I'm bottom fishing. Oh, you're bottom fishing. That's you're float fishing. Yeah, I'm on the bottom. You got to float. Yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, I need to get my get another setup to where I can get enough money to get me a bottom rig. Yeah. I need to get a rod that actually does bottom. Yeah, you have to have the feeder rod. Yeah. Oh. I don't have a feeder rod yet. This rod I've got on here has got. So well, you got a lot more setup than I do. You, you oh, I got upgrade your, Lord, upgrade I got your backpack too. Anyways. Yeah, I got all kinds of rods and reels and different lines. I mean, I've got some rods out of the <clears throat> souvenir store, you know. Yeah. That y'all, you know, not even close to getting yet. And that's just because I've got, you know, 400-something hours in it. And i played a lot more. Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, I got one now. Yep, yeah, we both got one. Yep. I'm pulling one in now. Yeah, mine's. I think mine's a big one here. Five eighty-three. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can increase the hook size a little bit. Now that I got some fish biting and see if I can get a big fish. I got a fish on. So I'm gonna double up on my hook size. I'm gonna go to a number two hook. Same bait. Oh, Lance. What's up, Lance? There's Dave Bozarts in the house. What's going on, guys? Appreciate you coming uh, here and hanging out with us on a virtual day. I've been fishing for I've been fishing for other species. I'm kind of leaving my bass alone for week one. I'm just kind of yeah, laying happening. off of that. I, if I haven't by now found the spots that I need to find to catch big enough bass to be competitive in week one, I'm probably not going to find it. I think I'm in good shape. I hadn't been fishing for them. I've been working on fishing for other species. This thing's running eight. This league's gonna run eight weeks. It's gonna be times we're gonna have to. It's gonna be other fish we gotta catch. If you need me, I'll be down at the main outpost. See so, I wish they tone his voice down a little bit in this game oh, next time they get a release. That drives me nuts. It does. <clears throat> but uh, telling you every time he's heading to yeah. Outpost. I'm like, I don't care if you're heading to the outpost or not. I can find you on the map. Yeah. <laughs> find you. So we're gonna have seven other species through the eight weeks that we're going to have to fish for, I'm going to let the wheel pick the species, and I'm going to take the species off after we've already oh, fished for big it. Big here. Big old channel cat. So we won't have to double up on species. Right. Then. So I've been trying to fish around for other fish. 13.13 pounds. That's a good one. Nope. Leech. Uh, yes, I was on a leech. Uh -huh. 
And uh, so I've just been fishing around for uh, other species and trying to broaden my horizon, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> looks like, see, I was right. right. I will give it to you, Buck. And I've been fishing for burbot lately. And I'm pretty well confident. I've got a spot, I've got a spot for burbot. i got a couple of spots for them. Found a spot for burbot, found a spot for walleye. And then we've got all those little lakes that we already know where all the trout and stuff are at. Pretty well confident that I'm going to be able to If the wheel does pick burbot, then I'm going to be having a pretty good run at them. So, there are a night fish, too. Yeah. On. Fish on. Buck Williams says, just stick with what I tell you. Don't listen to Troy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. That could be solid advice. Unless I give y'all a paddling week one, and then that bass may not be as good. <clears throat> Catfish fever, good to see you. What's going on, man? Appreciate you coming in here, man. We got 15 wonderful people in here already. Mm -hmm. We have, I believe, last, if I'm counting correctly, and, I, and it's, I've kind of been taking sign-ups for this thing for a couple of weeks, so I think we have 10 Ooh, that'd be nice. uh, in it now, uh, that's so that's good number. we have some uh, console players. And we have some uh, new people that I have that I don't know that I haven't met and I've talked to briefly. Uh, the nine point nine zero. We have several. I'm gonna try a worm a minute. We have several people from the catfish community uh, in it. Kelly's in it. Timmy Bullock's in it. That's Kelly's brother, for those of you that don't know. Uh, Hoglig is in it. Uh, Josh from the Weekend Angler is in it. Buck Williams is in it. And Aaron from Catfish Regulators is signed up. So that's what signed up. <clears throat> And I hope I didn't forget it. Oh, Susquehanna Stan. Yep. And myself. Did you, did you say maybe Hogleg? Hogleg is in. He is in. Okay. Yeah. I goaded him a little bit. <laughs> 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 I had to goad him a little bit, but he's in. Our, our <laughs> downtown Ernie Brown was going uh, uh, I, I kind of goaded him a little bit, but he's in. He, he's in. He probably yeah. muted muted his mic the other night so he called me a name or two, but he's in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Did I just don't... Get a 9.9 pounder? Yep, 9.9 yep. nine pounds. I was just on there this morning with him and uh him and Buck, and I was helping Hog Leg with get his tackle together. Mike Irving, good to see you. Uh, Mike. Uh, I was helping Hog Leg get his rods and his tackle box in order. It's, oh, I almost, I almost blowed that. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's I almost that's hit that button too fast. Uh, as, as it's Nick on here, you got you to gotta wait until it says strike for you. For you to yeah. Get So I was helping him get his uh, stuff together. I'm just trying different baits. Yeah. 
while I'm here catching a few so I know what to do later. I help him get his rod straightened out. That's, That's good. good. I know uh, yesterday morning he was he was doing the same thing I was. He was just driving around the map, opening everything up. Well, it's a learning process trying to get all this gear matched up because you've got to you got to match your your line with your rod and your yes. real strength. You know, you can't put too big a line on certain gears, and it's kind of confusing at first. Yeah. But he's getting it. He's getting it figured out. So. Some of these guys that's in it this time are relatively new. Yeah. Uh, Hogleg just started playing, not, what, February? Buck's been playing yeah. since February. Uh, some of them are new. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how long your brother's been playing. He's he been kind of quiet, hasn't he? He, he, he might be the dark horse. He's been too quiet. Because we, we, we know, know most of the guys that come in, that's coming to fish this. Yeah. But we've not seen him or heard anything out of him about the uh, fishing app. The fishing app. Yeah, he's been quiet. I've not even talked to him about it. That may be trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to say because he, he spends a lot of time on the trucking game. So yeah. I know he spends a lot once, Once he gets, he gets playing, playing a game, game he, stay, he stays he stays on that game a lot. Uh huh. So there's, there's no, no telling he may be he may be a lot more advanced, advanced than we are. Could be. I don't know. But it's all yeah. who's going it's all who's gonna get the bite from Monday to Friday yeah. or Saturday. That's and what it's it, gonna it, be. And that's anybody's game on that yeah. you can't guarantee anything. Yeah. You start out on Monday at 8 a.m. and on the 11th is when we start, and week one will end Friday, Saturday the 16th at 8 a.m. So you've got five days to fish as much as you want. Uh, you're looking for a three fish bag limit. So uh, the rules are on the Virtual Fishing League. Facebook group page, some other videos, but you're going to have five days to, to basically, you know, fish as many sessions as you want and catch, you know, three fish in a session. You have a bag limit at the end of it. Whatever your biggest bag limit is, you submit that before Sunday at noon. Yeah. And then six o'clock Sunday night, I will announce the week's winner. So... That's all good and great to be able to catch a bunch of fish. You know, there's been some pictures up on uh, the Virtual Fishing League page. You know, I caught this, and, and there's been a little jawing going on about I caught that. I'm on a win, win, and look I'm at my bag. And that's all great. Yep. But it don't do a whole lot of good to win in the preseason, and then you get out of the season and you flop. <laughs> that's so Yep. Those well, fish you, don't you count. The, uh, yeah. You seen that uh, northern pike I sent you last night? Yeah. Yeah. Those fish don't really count. So. Nope. Nope. Not until you have time. to. Uh... Now I've got a big. I've got a leech on here with a number one hook. So this is a pretty big leech. So yeah. it's gonna take a pretty good sized catfish to get this. I'm gonna try this a little while and see what happens. Since I've caught a few. Yeah, I think this, I got a number four hook on this one. one. Yeah, this is what you have to do. You have to experiment. Yeah. yeah. And it's just it's the waiting game. On That's these. it. I don't live bait fish much mm -hmm. on this game. I don't live bait fish much in real life. Now I do I do catfish. Don't get me wrong. But sitting here like this, uh, waiting on something to happen, that's pretty tough for me. Yeah. That's why I like to fish with lures. I feel like I'm in control yeah. of what's going on. So, But some of these species don't bite fast-paced. A little more fast-paced for us, too. 
Yeah. Well, some of these species don't bite lures. You have to use. Nope. And this is one of them. Yeah, they literally will not bite on anything else. I have some soft plastic lures that I've been catching my burbit on, so. Thank God for that. <clears throat> there is other uh, leagues going on for this game. Uh, Tackle Tuesday is one of them uh, that's going on right now. Uh, so, this is not the only league out there. I just decided to make one. And, and I wanted to make one with not a whole lot of rules and not a lot of gibberish to remember everything and a bunch of silly rules. I just wanted it to be kind of a fellowship thing. And you, got one. you got one? We may have yeah. to adjust some things later, but right now we're going to go with it like it is and see what happens. I certainly did expect to have 10 people. Uh, I'm glad we did. Honestly, I think it. I think it well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm certainly glad we did, but I. I really expected, you know, four or five, and that was it. Oh, D. What's going on, D? BFF. That reminds me. Tonight is the bait shop. Yep. Do not forget about the bait shop. Oh, and, and don't forget right before the bait shop, shop seven o'clock uh, uh, Central Time. I believe it's Central Time. But right before the bait shop, uh, Dave from Double Hook will have his 1K giveaway. 1K giveaway. Yep. On Dave, and then after that, I believe Dustin's probably gonna have a show tonight. I have not seen a thumbnail for that. No. Nope. But I will go look, and I will share that thumbnail out if it is up there. Six point three four pound jump. And then tomorrow night we have Pontoon Jody. And her. That was thunder. And Pontoon Jody's Friday night fishing deal. I don't think she's calling it Flathead Challenge right now. It's fishing with friends or something. Fishing with friends. Something like that. But anyway, Jody Show. That's the way. That's what I call it. Jody Show. Everybody knows what Jody Show is. There's Missy Kennedy there. Missy. Good to see you, Bessie. Looks like I'm getting ready to get hit again. Yeah, I tried a bigger hook with a leech on it. I was trying to see if I could find a bigger fish. I threw, I threw out cheese. cheese. Yeah, I just pl I'm just piddling. I'm just experimenting. Yeah. I'll do that. Jimmy Geiger, good to see you. Thank you That's for coming in. Yep. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. I'm going to order me some pork chops tonight. Are you? Yeah, a little restaurant up here called Landmark. They they got really good food. Me and the wife love to eat there. And I'm going to get two 8-ounce pork chops. And I'll eat one tonight, and then I'll eat one tomorrow night. I just had me a nice, probably about eight slices of French toast with homemade oh, yeah. uh, chicken, chicken salad. salad. I usually get them two pork chops, and then I'll eat one one night and one and another night. Uh, you know, there was a time when I was younger that I could eat 16 ounces of meat, uh, but not anymore. <laughs> that just... Looks like he just got his first coke. Coke and salmon. salmon. Silver. Mm -hmm. nice. Silver. Yep. I got a spot to catch them. I know where to catch them at. Uh, 
we're going to finish this map for the first see I want the bigger hook quick catch the fish so we're going to finish this map for the first eight weeks and then we're going to take a short break I'm going to go back to a smaller hook uh, I don't know how long it'll be it won't be that long uh, yeah. and then we're going to probably fire it up again and then fish for another six to eight weeks I want to see if eight weeks is too long or, or what it you know what everybody everybody feels about it and immediately I got to like change that hook back uh, and then we're going to fire it up again and then next time we're going to do it on a another reserve so you folks that do not own the two other DLCs be thinking about getting those in a couple of months. Uh, we will probably move to Norway. That will simplify it for you so you won't have to buy both if you don't own it. I think the DLCs are like less than $10. Uh, we will probably move to the Norway map and fish there. Most of you don't have the big enough, a lot of you don't have a big enough gear to fish for those big carp yet. No. I don't even have the map yet. Yeah. So that would be kind of not unfair. So I don't see I mean, how this. Sounds like you're, you're having some progress there, man, on that walker. Definitely, definitely good to hear that. Oh, the walker today did about 30 to 40 feet. Well, at least you're up moving. Yeah. I am on again. Yeah, it's on. And this number four, I went back to this number four hook and started catching them again. So, this may be a little bigger. This is a little bigger. Almost 10 pounds. There you go. It's a good fish. I'm guessing. I'm guessing how you, the more you get ranked up, the like, because I see on your on yours that you can like throw it all the way out or short or whatever you want. Well, it comes with upgrading. It's the tackle. Yes, the tackle. Yeah. This is a 13 foot rod. So, oh, okay. of course, it's going to cast, brother. But yeah. Uh, and I'm almost. Mine cast it, mine cast it out uh, 135 feet, but I saw a few times you were casting out like 50 feet. I just give it less power. Uh, yeah. See, I don't, have that, I don't have that option on my. On yeah, the you do. It's probably on the bottom of your screen. You're not seeing it. You probably need to resize your screen. Well, I'm catching them now with this number four hook. I'm on again. So, let's see. You catching them on what? Cheese and number four hook. Cheese and number four. Uh... My PB catfish is 21.92 on this game. So, mm. mine's 13.3. Yeah, 13, 13, 13 so far. I haven't fished for them much, but. I hope you get to feeling better soon, Jimmy. Yeah. He said he's got, he's still trying to figure, figure out the water, water on him. Yeah. Water. 
I had that a little issue with that. Not nothing major, but that gum fluid pill. They had to put me on that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go around you here. I'm gonna go to the other side right here. Okay. We'll fish here a little while and we may jump spot and go see what we can find. Yeah. I'm gonna go over here to this one corner that we were I was fishing off the other day and see what I can get off of it. Now while you run over there, I'm going to throw this little tube jig for just a few minutes. I was catching some pretty good sized green sunfish out of this little hole earlier. Come on. <laughs> I bought this little rod. It's a very short little rod. I use it just basically for jigs. And I really yeah. like it. It's the Y934 is what they call it. Mm -hmm. Did that little pink one? Little red one. It's only red like, one? yeah, it's only like, I don't know, it's only three foot long or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I've got yeah, I've some, some good, good fish on it. But before, I only use it. Jig, you got one? Yep, yep got, got one on. on. That's be a good, good one, one too. And I'm barely budging him. Here he comes, he's coming in now. If you go over to your right a little bit more, probably about another 50 feet, mm. a lot of bluegills were popping up on the corner. Yeah, right. I got a spot marked over there on the map. Uh, I caught some catfish out of that spot too. He didn't want to come in. He's still in the 60 feet out range out there. Staying on Good the night. He's walking. That dog on lure hit the bottom and I was getting ready to jerk. I felt that control vibrate. Yeah. <laughs> this is on cheese and uh, float fishing. On the cheese! On number four. Bunch of little boogie right here. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. I'm going to give him security here. All right. There you go. Oh, that's nice one. 12.9. Yeah, that's good.
Go buy some cookies, Missy Kennedy. <laughs> go buy some flies. <laughs> yeah, she's like, <laughs> go, some juice. Right, go buy some cookies. <laughs> Do something useful. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That woman's all, that woman's something else. <laughs> Woo! Every time she come in here, she makes me laugh. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. She, she loves, loves that wrestling. Oh, yeah. Got another fish on. Here it comes. Bite it, bite it, bite it. Here we go. Got it. Uh -uh. Oh, I have I mercy. Had, I knew I just had to move spots. Yeah. We probably should make a run up that other little hole here in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, if I, if I we get to that point where we're not catching anything in this... For a little bit, and yeah, we'll just need to move. You can make it run over to the left of me. Let me go ahead and mark this spot. We can make it run up here. There's a little bitty pond up here. Yeah. And we caught some out of the other day. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was, I was thinking, thinking we were here, but this may have been where we were at the other night. But I went up there to that little pond up there and caught a bunch. Okay. They weren't all that big, but now yeah. Buck says he got broke off up there, but and I'm I sure there's a big one lurking around in there somewhere. Do you, you think, think a big, a big one, one be lurking one in this one? Oh yeah, there's, there's a big one here somewhere. Yeah. I know, there's, I know there's almost a 17 pounder in here. Oh, there's 9.75 pounds. Just finding them is the thing. Yeah. Uh, polar bear of the chat has made it into chat. Let's go, oh. Kelly, kick his butt. Yeah. Polar bear of the chat has just got timed out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Talk about, talk about. Oh my god. <laughs> He'd be like, okay, I'll just go back playing my video. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, I don't care. I'll be doing I'll be doing some lives for the VFL next week. Oh, so fish on. My goal is to try to at least go live once for the VFL and maybe twice. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to go on days that I can. I'm gonna, I'm home. Um, remind me later. Got to send you the little logo. You put that logo on your thumbnail if you want. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe kind of get the word out that we're doing this. Yeah. I don't know if I can handle more than 10 at one this time. Oh, yeah, a smaller one right here because he came in pretty quick. Yeah, he's a smaller one. He's only 5.28 pounds. Oh, he caught one of my fish. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm almost casting all the way over to, to you right now. Stay out of my hole, boy. <laughs> Let's run up here to this little pond and see what's going on. All right, well, I just cast it back out real quick. All right, well, I'm going to run up there. You okay, come when you get ready. I'll, if I get a fish, I get a fish on, and I'll come over. I'm gonna run up here and see. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost, almost on your side, side of the bank right here. Yeah, yeah it's that figures. Figures. <laughs> Dog on. You're fishing my side, and I'm fishing your side. Worse than a weekend warrior throwing your lure over here on my spot. <laughs> I don't surprise me none. Your bluegills are all the way over here on my side now. Buck Williams says he just caught a seven and a half pound diamond brook trout. Diamond brook trout. Nice. Oh, Buck, he he sort of he started getting pretty good. Does he he kind of act like he want to be somebody? You know, in real life, you know, in real life, we could never climb that that straight up mountain. Oh yeah, I could. <laughs> With one leg. Don't you know that? You got a rocket on that on that wheelchair. Yeah, I do.
We should climb them mountains and call it the wild like this. This is a little bitty pond here, y'all. Uh, We're going to see what's over here, but... I'll, I'll go over there and I'll, I'll cast all the way across the whole thing. That don't surprise me now, Kelly. Oh, I like to fell off the cliff. Ooh. Well, the good thing is if you, if you fall off, like if you jump off the tower, you don't die. Yeah. It's the only time you die is that you drown yourself. I had a farm pond about this size one time. Full of five pound channel cats. But we used to feed them too. Yeah. Used to feed them dog food. And then what you do is you wait about what? A week, two weeks, and then go out there, don't feed them for a week or so, or two weeks, and then no, go out there you just, and catch them. You just go out there and make, the, you make you some dough bait out of the dog food. Uh -huh. Works every time. I had, I had three farm ponds one time on 165 acres, and uh, I used to be able to <clears throat> go out there and feed them fish. I used to be able to blow the horn on the truck and they'd come to the surface. Yeah, <laughs> they knew it's feed time. Long, long time. Take, take, take it. Oh, there you go. Alright, I'll bring this one in and then I'll be able to... Alright. This one seems like it might be a bigger one. It's almost completely redlining my, my thing on this one. Yeah, you probably caught the big one out of there. Can you get him in? Oh, yeah, I can get him in. Fresno! It's Fresno! What's up, Fresno? What's up, my buddy? Yeah, he redlining you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm redlining. I'm looking at the old TV up. Yeah, I'm redlining. I'm at 95, 95 percent. Hey, yeah. And I'm, I'm redlining, redlining it big, big time. time. He's, He's big. big. <laughs> <laughs> he does he not want to come, come in. Because usually I can, I can get him muscled in, in and they'll take, take like, Maybe, Maybe 10 feet off each time pulling in, but he's, he's letting, letting me, he's, he's telling me he does not want my, my controller is jarring. I mean, I mean literally, literally just jarring. Jarring. This is a, a big, big fish. fish. I think yeah, I, I think I, I caught the big catfish out of this one. <laughs> one coming in. You can have one there for bait. Uh, cheese. Oh. On a four, on uh, a uh, four, four hook, number four hook. Oh. He's coming. Lolo, but he's coming in. Mm. <coughs> Still haven't seen the ball yet. There's the ball finally coming up here. Expect to see him. Oh, yeah, he's, he's decent size. Red line. Yep. Yes, got him. Woo. 13.59. Blind hog picked up acre. I taught you everything you knew. New best rank. That's my, that's my biggest new, catfish I've got so far now. PB. Yeah. I figure it's going to take. I figure it's probably going to take three. Yeah. Level 25 now. I figure it's gonna take three of that size to to win it. Yeah. To have a good chance for if we have a catfish week. Oh yeah. 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 At yeah. least in the double digits. You caught anything over there yet? Huh? You caught you anything over there yet? No, but I'm trying a different bait. Okay. I figure it's gonna take three over ten pounds to probably win it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. At least at least at least ten pounds. A lot of bluegill over here. Is there? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna switch to a worm. Try some person bluegill.
We'll try this spot. See what happens. Yeah, this is gonna be funny. I'm gonna jump off this cliff. I can even get up. Clear. You're not as fleet as foot as I am. <laughs> right? Yep. yep. I'm doing a cliffhanger. Oops, I did a cliffhanger move. Moon over Miami. Good to see you. Appreciate all the comments, buddy, on the videos and lives. Yeah. I see them all the time. Yeah. Lord, yesterday, uh, finally got the wheelchair people out here. Did you finally get them? Finally got them out here. They didn't even bother to show up on the fourth like they supposed to. They didn't even call me. Uh, I sent them a very direct, pleasant, non so pleasant, politically correct, pleasant email. Uh, they fell all over themselves to respond to me the next day, of course. And uh, got them back out. Finally got them out here yesterday. Oh, Lord, the time I got done with him, I had a headache. <laughs> I'm going to jump, jump off, off the cliff. <sighs> And but we got some things oh, that's too far resolved you on the you can't die jumping off the cliff. Are you gonna jump? Don't jump in the middle of the, t the lake, fool. I did I not try to. <laughs> oh my god, did you die? Yeah, I'll fix to see it now. Oh my, you ain't. Yeah, you ain't ready. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> Don't tell him that, Missy. I, I gotta have a little comedy hour. The time I got done with that yesterday, I had a, a doggone headache. Messing with that. So we had to order some parts and... But we got it resolved. Mm. Oh, that was funny. Uh, I, was like, I, <laughs> I, I wanted to see if it actually could, if I could land it. Yeah, yeah it says too far. Like, uh, but I surely had a. Was well, glad to get that situation resolved because. Uh, they have went to a. They have went to a sourcing system. Over, they have went to a, a scheduling system over there. Out of the office, scheduling system, and nobody knows what the right hand's doing. And it—that's the second time it's happened to me. But uh, Turns out it's computer issue went down. You know there's a solution for a computer issue. Do you know what that is? Hammer, piece of paper, and a pencil. <laughs> I was gonna say take it back to the computer. <laughs> Nobody wants to keep anything wrote down anymore. They always want to put it on the computer. Yeah. So. I don't write anything down on the computer. But anyway, one of the uh, one of the lines that I put in the email without going into a bunch of details was, it may be hard for you to believe, but I have better things to do with my time 
than sit around here waiting on y'all to show up. Yeah. yeah. I have a life too. Uh, that generated a very fast response. <laughs> <laughs> they knew I was quite irritated by the situation. Uh, I'm gonna switch to a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this jig a minute. I can't stand all these bluegills running around here. I'm gonna see if I can catch one. Daytime catfishing so slow. I got one. There you there go. go. Yeah. A green sunfish. Nice. I think a worm out, so I'm gonna see what I can catch with a worm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just piddling. Well, you don't, well, you, what jig are you throwing out? I have that little tube jig on. Just a little bitty tube. Just on this rod that I use for. <laughs> you know, you know when you do that, it looks so weird. Why? It just looks so weird that you threw that thing out. What's that doggone wheel? Pick green sunfish for one week's fish. Oh, I know. Probably will. Nice one. I got another one. Yep. He little. One he jumped, jumped over to your right. right. Yeah. Point right. 44. Yeah. yeah. Right I'm looking for him on top. Yellow perch. There you go. See, I told y'all I'm a lure fisherman. Gold cutthroat trout by Buck Williams. I think we got Buck Williams hooked on the fishing game. I think we do too. I think he's. I think he's sold on it. Yeah. Uh. So. I I have plans. Let me put my catfish rod back out there now. For a few minutes while I talk, but I have plans to start a hunting league as well. So, that is one of the things that I have planned. And I'm Trying to figure out how I want to do that, but I'm thinking that I'm going to run it like I'm pretty much running the the uh, virtual fishing league. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I think we're going to pick a reserve and then we're going to uh, hunt a species a week and make it simple. Biggest animal wins species. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wins the week. So, uh, best trophy rating wins the week. So, you kill an animal, of course, you get a trophy rating for that animal. 
And I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, of course, Don, great ones. You know, no great one, but. No, I, I, would, I couldn't even do one anyway. Yeah. Well, there's great ones on the map. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, I, I, I never even got, got close to having any great, great one on the map. map. Yeah. But we're going to do, I think that's what we're going to do is uh, best uh, trophy rating of the week. We'll win the week. And we will hunt, you know, different species every week. When we get to a point, and that point is coming, that we're going to have uh, bottom fishing with tripod stands, I believe that is probably going to be in the very near future where they're going to have some type of tripod stands or rod holders or something of that nature. And you're going to be able to fish with multiple rods at one time rather than have to hold a rod in your hand like we're doing here. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to try to spawn a few tournaments out of this league, uh, side tournaments. So it'd be, it'd be good to be able to get all the guys up on the screen together. Uh -huh. Have plans for that. I also have plans to maybe have a just a not per se a tournament, but just a good old fishing party. Yeah. Get out and find us a long bank spot. We can line a bunch of people up on the bank and. Get in multiplay and talk and fish and do a live on it. That is the plan. We'll see how it is received. But I have a lot of plans for this game. Some of it's going to be when some of the content comes out that they're talking about releasing. So I pretty well follow... Uh, the people that make these this game and their weekly streams and their discord and so each time they start talking about something they're trying to work on my mind starts turning about what we could do especially now that we're getting a lot more people in it I mean just starting this virtual fishing league we've started getting people that we know uh, involved in it, such as Buck and Hogleg. And yeah. Why is your cork always over here by mine? I, I, I do my best to teach you everything I know. Do you have to steal my fish? I don't have it. I don't have a float out there. Well, whose float is that? I think, I think somebody, somebody joined us. Somebody joined us. Mr. Eduardo, Eduardo, Chris, 2006. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing a spoon. And keep your friend over there. I'm throwing a spoon. But I have a lot of plans, so. <clears throat> He's standing close to you like you're about to kiss you. <laughs> I know. I mean, the whole, this whole little, little pond, and he got to stand right on top of me. A young man needs to be standing over here by me so he can learn something. He's standing yeah, by the wrong like cat. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Standing by the wrong person. Go that way. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I didn't even play this game yesterday. I've been playing it every day. I needed to break yesterday. I, I was working on a project for a friend, and yeah. and uh, so and I didn't even 
uh, Albert Lewis. And I'll say there's, there's the, uh, the, the manager of the lot lizards. Yeah, there he is. Hey, he, he disappeared. Thank goodness. <laughs> And, uh, ain't a doggone catfish been caught out of this little old bitty hole, has it? No, we haven't caught one thing out of this thing. Nope. Well, let's see. Let's, we, we want to ease up here to a bigger body of water? Yeah, let's yeah, ease up to a like, bigger body of water. water. Let's do that. Uh, let's, uh, uh, Fast travel over here while I'm at. Let's get in the boat. Let's go. I don't know about this spot. We'll try it. This is open lake. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can't find us a deep hole. Hang on just a second. What's this? Now, now, on, on this, this map, map right, right, okay, okay. we're, all right, right, right before, before you get, get through, through, okay, go, go to your right, right on the map, right, right. go to the right, right side, side. We're, 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 we're getting ready to get on the boat, okay, right, right there, the narrow, right, right, right that, that narrow spot, spot between the two pieces of land, yeah, somebody, somebody caught, caught a nice, nice big old catfish, catfish right in that spot, well, let's try it, yeah, yeah. What I have on my marker. I got in the boat and disappeared. Jump in the boat, son. I did. Not in the creek. Are you in here? Yes, I'm Arthur. Gotta make sure the child is in the boat. Daddy, did you put my life jacket on? I'm throwing you out of this boat. You call me daddy again. Let's try it right in here a while. Yeah, right in here somewhere where he caught that. Yeah. He caught a, I think it was like a 14 pound channel cat. I'm going to turn the boat sideways and back it up a little because I don't want you standing next to me. That doggone phone rings every time I go live. Uh, I wanted to get the boat turned sideways. We had a little bit more room. So I wanted to stand on the back of the boat. Because somebody told me you didn't bathe very often. Once a month. <laughs> okay. Once a month. Well, let's try it right here. This is certainly not my this 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 bait fish is certainly not my forte if I had mentioned that. Oh my god. We'll try it. Yep. That's all we can do. It ought to be getting dark. It is fixed to get dark. Yeah. It'd be good to go down there toward that uh, the dam. Maybe the, maybe the last hour of this thing we'll have a little dark time. Yeah, it's fixed to get dark quick. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the fish begin to pick up.
again, Double Hook Angling is going to have a giveaway tonight for his, how many subscribers, Kelly? 1K. One 1K. One K. Congratulations, Double Hook. Well deserved, my friend, for getting to the 1K mark. And going to give away a rod, according to Mr. Kelly Bullock. <clears throat> and that's going to be at uh, 7 tonight. <clears throat> Eastern time. 6 yeah. Central. The bait yeah. shop comes on after that. They're going to have Danny Stone on. They're going to have Mr. Danny Stone on tonight. That ought to be an interesting watch. With Danny Stone, John, Chad, Freddie, and Brian. There's going to be some laughs out of that. Always a good show at the bait shop. And then... Uh, I haven't seen the thumbnail, but I believe Dustin's going to have a show tonight. He was in my chat on Tuesday, went to the doctor, got a good report, so seemed like he's on the mend, thank God, for that. And then tomorrow night, Jody, that's all I need to say, it's just Jody, be having her show tomorrow night, so... Good lineup shows coming up for us to watch. I'm gonna let, <coughs> I'm gonna let you sit here catfish. I'm trying. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to find I'm something. something. I'm gonna try to give you something in this point. I know that doggone wheel. If I don't, if I don't spend some time on it, that doggone wheel is gonna punish me. It's <laughs> gonna punish a lot of people. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's going to be some of these species that I'm going to probably struggle with because I hadn't fished for them a lot. It's just impossible to get 21 species, but I'm trying to get to as many as I can as quickly as I can. Yeah. But i got to do a thorough job of it. It don't do no good to find them if all you find is little fish. Because yeah. little fish ain't going to win the week. So. Oh, no. I'm starting to see a lot of people post up on Facebook using live scopes. A lot more. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong. Live scope is a great tool. Uh, I like it when you're when you're doing like if you're just you're fishing up like crappie and stuff like that. You can pull up on a structure and see the fish. And it's kind of kind of neat to sit there and watch your baits and fish catch and get all the baits. Yeah, it's a great tool. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but. You know, right now, right now, live scope is is out of the reach of a lot of people financially. Oh yeah. Uh, and I did hear that a lot of these tournaments and things were gonna back off of letting them use live scope so much. Uh, some of them, are, some of them, they're not gonna let them use them. No, no, they, they shouldn't. shouldn't. And some of them is going out, roll out, uh, take them out of the equation altogether. So uh, I, honestly, I think I think live scope should even be in there. Honestly. Well, when, when it comes, it comes to this virtual, virtual fishing, fishing and something, something that we were talking about, about yesterday, yesterday, I think I think we need to. I think, I think they need to add the sonar into the boat when you're in the boat. 
Well, that's 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 something that will be that's something that will be coming uh, to this game. That's a, that's I, I can almost tell you that's a definite given that that will be uh, something that'll be coming. Uh, but you know they've been using uh, front sonars for years on the Bassmaster Trail. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and a lot of these guys will set up in a, in, in a bay, uh, kind of like we're fishing right here, kind of yeah. like in the middle of open water. Yeah. And, you know, they'll use that front sonar and cast to spots where they see big fish. Uh, But I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna quit using it so much. I, I really believe that that'll be something that'll happen sooner than later. And there was a guy that come down to. I'm gonna throw a spoon in a minute. I can't resist it. There was a guy that come down to the fishing fishing barge. And he had one that he put together as portable. Built a box for it and everything. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, he, he had that thing. And first time I'd ever looked at one. And you could see the fish. And we found them all piled up around a, a hanging log. It was probably at one time a brush pile that they had cut and hung down there. And they were holding in that very corner of the floor over there and under that log, just, just a little bit out of the reach where you could get to them with a the rod. Them jokers wouldn't bite nothing. I like to run the wheels off his chair trying to find a jig it hit. So just because you see them don't mean you're going to catch them, so to speak. But... Something big, I don't know what it is. He red me big time. Why do you have that little reel on that big old rod? Didn't I tell you about that? No, these are the old-fashioned old fashioned rods. I know it is, but that rod holds a lot bigger line than that reel will hold. Oh, okay. I'll have to get I little told little. you about that the other day. Yeah. Don't you remember me telling you that? Oh, yeah. I think that reel right there holds 11 pound line, I believe. There's a reel that's in the in the storage that'll hold 20 on that rod. I think that rod's rated for like 66 pounds, I think. Northern Pike. Northern Pikes in this little spot. Oh, it's Northern Pikes all over this dog on reserve. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, that was like every, every Good Lord. Part I've been on, that's what I've caught. Full up. No, I don't think anybody's going to have trouble with Northern Pikes on the wheel. If they, if they do, they need to quit now. <laughs> yeah. You can't catch a Northern Pike on here. You might as well just go on and hang it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good Lord. Let me see what I got rigged up here. I don't have my full complement of lures. Cause we're gonna do a little catfishing. I'm gonna jig right here by the boat a minute and see what I can come up with. Yeah.
Where my lower deck right now is 28 and, 28 and a half feet deep. Deep spot right here. I really like the, I really like the vertical jigging in this game. Yeah. yeah. This is one of the first fishing games that I have had that you could do this type of vertical jigging. But I wish they would cut down on the rod raise and lower. I don't think it needs to be quite that dramatic. Yeah. I can do it with a stick like this. And I prefer that. Yeah. But it's a little harder to master. I need to work on that. So I found out on this vertical jigging, if you're holding that button down to perform the jigging technique, and you'll just stop it every once in a while and let it sit there for eight or ten seconds, and then start back up. A lot of times they'll hit it when it stops. Got one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. On the, uh, now big old bass. Four point seven six large mouth. I got something here. I don't know what it is, but got it on the uh, jerk bait. Yeah. Hey, that's a blue. Yeah. So that you need, you need to put on your map that you got blue gear up there. You know what dog on wheels gonna choose one of them blue gills or green sunfish? Hey. Rebel River Cats, what's going on with my friend? Rebel River Cats. The Wheel of Death. You know it's gonna pick one of them little bitty fish. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Stan I'll have to make sure I have everything. I'll have to make sure I have everything ready for all that stuff too. Stan wanted me to start out with bluegill. I'm like, what am I running here? A kids tournament? <laughs> but the problem is we're gonna end up getting them anyway. Well you, you eventually yeah you will. It wouldn't surprise me none if it don't happen week two. I got gear for it. I'm ready for them. I just I gotta, I gotta fish more and get some more, get more points up. I start buying some more stuff. Yeah, it's just all about fishing. It's all about putting the time in. There you go. Yeah. I was right there in the boat. It's a green sunfish. Yeah. Right so there, boom. Green, green sunfish right in the same spot. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Blue eels and, sun, and green sunfish are pretty much the same thing. Yeah. But they have them in, in this game, they have them in two different categories. Seventeen wonderful people in the house. Seventeen people. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you guys. I know there's folks in the background watching. Yep. I 
I'm trying to lead by example, so if you uh, if you are if you are a pro fisherman like I am and like I'm doing today, take a young person fishing. Take take the little guy out on the boat. Yep. He needs all the help he can get. Oh my god. I just had to make sure I just had to make sure he had my life jacket on the boat. Y'all think this is bad? Y'all ought to hear us when we're in voice chat and not on live. Ain't oh my gosh, our, our no our telling what you like. Yeah. It is horrible. We live in the chat. chat. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> you better have thick skin if you're gonna listen to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yep, got one. <clears throat> Northern Pike. Better have thick skin if you're gonna hang around with us. <clears throat> Buck says you're so full of it, Troy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, 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 Buck, Buck you, you ain't, you ain't, ain't no saint in there either. No. <laughs> you ain't no saint. No. He sure ain't. <laughs> I thought that's, I thought that's funny the other night when I, I'm gonna sit here a minute and watch you. I gotta rest my back. I thought that's funny the other night. I asked Hogleg if he's going to get in this merchant fishing league. I don't know. He says, I'm only up to level 25. I don't know if I can compete. And I said, I said, well, hell, Hogleg, you ought to be used to losing. Hey, <laughs> you ought to be used to losing. And he's, he, yeah. he paused for a second. And he thought, he said, you know what, doggone you, Troy, put me in it. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> hey, look. And you're in the background. Huh? Take, Take a, a picture. picture. Uh, you gotta turn around, I think. I can't take a picture from here. You take a picture. I don't want to take pictures on, my, on the controller. I don't know why. What? It's, it's not, not set up to take pictures picture for You ought to be able to push. Um, are you on the computer? Yeah. yeah. Are you playing to the edge? Huh? I don't know if my, my keys are set up for it. What's it say on the bottom of the screen down there? Take a snapshot. It, it says, says trophy, trophy shot. shot. You push that. I did it. You ought to be able to turn now. Keep going. Right there. Right there. Got it. I sent it to you. He said, yeah, put me in it, Troy. If I don't win, beat nobody else, I hope I beat you. I had to go to him a little bit, but he got him in it. <laughs> hey, I can say one thing. He might, he might, I, it, won't, it won't do that, but for some reason, my computer will not, well, at 12. I don't know why. You may not have it turned on. I may not. I took it for you. Usually yeah, I use my, use my camera. camera. Yeah. Uh, on my phone, I'll take my phone and take a picture off, off the screen. Oh my goodness.
Uh, almost, almost, almost had, had one, one right there. there. I like stirring them up a little bit. That's just like that night we did that trucking live that last one. <laughs> and we was running late. And I said, we're late because of Steve Adams. And he's like, no, we ain't neither. <laughs> I like catching you on more pikes. Oh, Lord. I like catching you on more pikes. There you go. It ought to be getting dark in a few minutes. Look at that big old bass right there by the boat. Catch it. I got some, but it ain't him. A green sunfish. There's your friend. Nope, don't, don't need you. I could put a bigger hook on there and probably catch a bigger sunfish, but I'm going to throw this catfish rod back out here now that it's getting closer to the dark. Come on, catfish. I think they need to adjust that. Catfish don't only bite at night. Yeah. They need to fix it. Well, they was catching some there in the day. Yeah, but they, they do bite better at night on this game, but they need to fix yeah. that. Uh, because you can't change the time. Yeah. In game, you know, like you can in Call of the Wild. I think they need to do away so much for the night biters to tell you the truth. Because if ain't somebody like me that's got time to get on here any time and play that I want. But for people that, you know, work and that have limited time, play time, uh, yeah. nobody wants to sit around and wait at night to catch a catfish if they love to catch catfish. Yeah. I think they should change that. Uh, now, they're not listening to me, but if you are, change it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, if you're listening, yes, please change it. Mm -hmm. And please go ahead and hurry up and add the multi rods to the boat. Yeah, we need that. Rank. Yeah, we need that. Because that's one of the features that I loved about Fish of Sip World. You know, you put out three rods, and that was just, mm -hmm. that was just great, you know. Uh, and I think that would be fabulous on this game to be able to put out you know three rod holders or a rod stand and hold three or four rods and yeah. spread out three or four different type of baits that would be just fabulous I know they're headed that way because when they first put this game out you know you can only fish for the cork or lures and now we got bottom fishing so they're headed yeah. in that direction I know they are but yeah. They're going to release it as a DLC. They're going to $10 you to death. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, but. I probably got 
I probably got two hundred dollars in the hunter call of the wild over the last you know seven years it's been out and they're probably been getting me for another five bucks here on the 12th because they're gonna have that new gun DLC come out no yeah. doggone good and well I'm gonna buy it <laughs> I'll be drinking my coffee that morning and buying it early. I can't wait to get a hold of that 10 gauge. Still got oh, four, okay. 14 folks hanging back there. Yep. I get a lot of views in the background, though. <laughs> I get it's, done. Uh, we, we got, got much, much longer, longer for $1,900, $1, so that's, that's, that's about sweet, sweet time. time. Yeah, I get a lot of views in the background. Kelly, I'm honored at that shirt you had on and that thumbnail. And I want y'all to know that <laughs> Kelly, Kelly took that picture wearing that shirt and sent it and, and sent it to me. I didn't take a picture of nothing. Yes, she did. Don't don't be shy. I'm so honored that you would wear a shirt that says Crow is my hero on it and send it to me for me to use on the thumbnail for today's live. I'm glad I'm your hero. I will try to hold up to your expectations. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know you probably got, you know you got Moo Moo somewhere. Nope. Oh yeah, you got one. Probably got one with my logo on it. I'll let you send it to me. Let's move to some deeper water. Right. Let me know when you sit down so I don't throw you out of the boat. Get down? Yep. yep. You're not down on my end, you're riding on the front of the boat. You better duck. On my end, I'm sitting down. Yeah, you're standing up. I wonder if I can hit the brakes and throw you out of the boat. <laughs> you do it. I tried it, it wouldn't work. <laughs> okay. Uh. I think, I think we're, we're froze. froze. I'm not. I am. Are you froze? Yeah. yeah. Give it a second. There you are. You're moving now.
There you go. Your motor's still running. Your motor's still running. That's all right, let it run. Just fish. <laughs> it's only running on your end. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Now, Mrs. said, did someone say moose, Troy? Could you hook up? Yeah, up with that. <laughs> no, Troy don't need to see no moose. No. Yeah. See you some with some red roses on it. Send you a kilt. Send you a pink and send you a pink kilt. Go down there to the creek fish in the moo moo. People think I'm crazy if I'm sitting there doing that. Son, they already think that. <laughs> yeah, they already think that. Oh Lord. I hear my motor running on yours, but it ain't running on my end. Yeah. Let me, let me see if I can kill that motor. Did that kill it? Did yeah, it go I dead? I went back down. When I sat back down, it did. All right, I'll try it. See if it's dead. Yep, yeah, it's dead. Uh, I don't want to be fishing beside you. I'm going to move. I don't fish that you neither. Here, I got it. I'm going to quit moving. Here, I moved. There you go. All right. I'm on the back now. Got a little server glitch sometime. All right, I'm in some deep water right here. This ought to yield fish. Come on, let me catch one about 40 pounds. At least something. This is a good bourbon spot, too, right here. That ought to be a fish here, 73 foot hole. Try a piece of liver. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's one we haven't really tried. I know bourbon likes the liver. Yep, so I got one. On what? Come on, come on. Take it, take it down, take it down. You might, there it is. Oh. Finally got one, huh? Yep. The rod right on the back of your head is glitching. I think, I think I got, got this, this one on, on leech. Uh -huh. See the rod on the back of your head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with you about throwing your your line over in my space? Cause you do you do 
<laughs> you put me in the back back here, and I have to throw it toward the deep side, which is over toward you. Ow, ow. You didn't turn the thing around. Just like a kid. <laughs> give me jump. Give me jump in there and turn it around right now. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it. I jump in there and turn it around right now. Oh, that wouldn't be good, would it? I'd throw you out of the boat. You'd lose the fish. There you go. Yeah, that gold bird. Yeah, this is a good bird spot right here. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a big Good bourbon spot right here. Oh, oh cheese. cheese. I, I caught it on cheese. Cheese. Yep. yep. 4.6 feet underwater. Is that not bottom fishing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm catching one. I caught it on a float. You got your uh, your dailies and all that stuff hooked up. Yeah, I've already. Get some of the bluegills and stuff. I've already uh, completed some of them nice. for the day. I'll probably try to fish a little bit tonight. While I watch the bait shop. Yeah. After I get done eating my pork chop. Mm. Mm. Eat my dinner. And See what's going on with the bait shop. See if Chad or Brian yeah. or Freddie open the door up for me to set the tone for the night. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. She said, bust his head with a sinker. Ah, right, yeah. Kind of violent, ain't you? <laughs> uh, Missy, won't you go in there and make about two dozen chocolate cookies and send them to me? That'd be a good. That'd be a good. That'd be a good thing. She's always cooking something and sending me pictures of it. Yeah, I'm yawning already. Yeah. Mm. Something just jumped up out the water. Pike. Jumped right here by me. Thought he was going to jump the boat with me. The old pike jumped out in front of me, too. You know, I think I was playing. The old Bass Masters 2022, and I had a fish on, and you know how they used to jump out of the water and you know flop around. Yeah. That animation. I had one jump in the boat one time. 
I thought that's the coolest thing in the world because that fish jumped in the boat and it never <laughs> happened again. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it when that joker jumped in the boat. Not making now. Thank God. Got to get ready for fish season. Yeah, it's going to be time to fish for long, ain't it? It's already been in the 70s and 80s here every day. So... <laughs> All right, Joey. You gone? I gotta get, get going. going. Yep. I'm fixing to shut it down, too. Mm -hmm. What do we got on here? I'm gonna put this leech out here for five minutes and then I'm fixing to try one more time. Uh, I'm gonna head, I'm gonna head back, back over here to the trail that's on out of your boat. Yeah, I'll see you sometime tonight, probably, in the, in the chat. Yeah, I'll be there. All right. All right. Appreciate, Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Yep. I'll catch, I'll catch you all, all later. I'm going to go fishing this afternoon. We'll see. I'll hit the creek. It's kind of like going to the creek for a little while. Yep. Take you, Boo Moo. Yep, I will. All right. <laughs> yep. Oh, my goodness. We're going to take me off screen. Right, I can hit my screen. Yeah, it'll end. I'll kill it. See what it does here. All right. I'll just kill these name tags and we'll be good. Yeah. I'm going to hop out of chat. All right. Let's we'll see. see. So, we'll see you later. Be careful. Kill them name tags and we'll be good. All right. I'll just bring this over to the... Oh, we're good. I'm gonna I'm gonna fish for just a few more minutes and then we're gonna shut it down. Uh, uh. Appreciate y'all coming in and joining us today. The virtual fishing league starts on the eleventh. I'm sure the guys will be posting pictures of what they're catching. Sixteenth. 8 a.m. week one ends, and then Sunday night I'll have a winter announcement for week one. So, I'll be doing some lives on it that week. Gonna try to at least do two. No, for sure we'll do one on that Thursday, but I'm gonna try to get two or three lives in. I think maybe Kelly's gonna do a live and on it. So, I don't know, maybe some of the other guys that's in it, they may go live. I don't know. There's some other guys in it that I don't know that well. So, they may do live streams too. I don't know. If they do, maybe they'll post it on the Virtual Fishing League. You'll check them out. Maybe get to know them a little bit. So, I think I've had it too. Kelly's probably going to go fish in the creek a little while. Y'all go check it out. I think he's going to try to go live here in a little bit. Appreciate y'all coming by. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I did. Thank y'all for hanging back there. 
I'll see y'all in chat tonight somewhere along the way. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of Real and Virtual Outdoors. And I will see y'all on Tuesday for sure. For Trucking Tuesday.